I, I sit back and I look at you, and every time we come down here, it's always refreshing. But the, you, you have to be proud to look at all the things you built, uh, where you started. I remember Harold Knight introducing me to you uh, 20 couple years ago at the ICAST show, just getting started with ideas. And you look at where you are today and how well and you groomed your place is, and you've always just had a certain amount of... Uh, of, of pride, not an arrogant pride at all. Just you've always took care of your stuff and you can kind of tell first generation sometimes versus second generation, when you work your guts out for it, you That's really, true. you take care of it. Well, you know, you, you did the same thing and you and I are not that far off in age, even though I got you a little <laughs> bit, but I still got younger children. But, uh, you know, you you have a lot, you and I are a lot alike in a lot of ways. Not, obviously we like the outdoors, but, um, which I found out last year, you're very competitive, <laughs> not only on on the lake, but it, it carries over to everything you do. Even on sissy games. Yeah, 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 on sissy games that you and I participate in. But it is true, I think you uh, your personality molds everything else you do in life, and, and you know, as, as much as you've accomplished in the fishing world, which is absolutely unbelievable and awesome, and, and uh, all the championships and tournaments that you've won, but it gets back to uh, you like things to be right. You like things to be clean, your boat, your car. Uh, I'm the same way, and, and uh, I take a lot of pride in this place, just keeping it clean. And uh, obviously, I got Roger, who's our farm manager, looking after the place. But um, how I like my personal life to be is how I like my house and my farm to be. It's, it's so unique that we both teamed up with Exmark. And uh, I've, this year, I've been mowing grass. My, my caretaker's down his back, so I, I've always mowed part of my grass, but I've never mowed the whole five acres every week. Yep. I appreciate Exmark more today than I ever have before. I've been on that thing this year at least five acres a week. Well, you yep. know, before you know this, before we did the Exmark deal, I was an Exmark owner. That's what we had up here at the farm. Yeah, I saw you had an antique. It's an antique. Yeah. It's still running. Yeah. You know, it's still running. We can't wear it out. And, uh, and, uh, you know, when Exmart asked me to say, you know, are you interested in doing something? And I said, Exmart, you know, absolutely wasn't exactly sure what, what that meant. But, uh, you know, great company and, uh, the, you know, the product's just unbelievable. And, you know, and it, like it's your place, we use it for all of our stuff. My house here at the farm and, 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 and I'm like you. I don't get as much time on it as you get on it, but it's actually fun to just go do. Well, you know, Very everything we do, television, we're yeah. shooting now for what will air a year from now. Absolutely. You get on that X mark and you go out there and groom your yard and you get on it and two hours later, you've got it all completely done. I'm talking five acres. Yep. Man, I got it all done, looking good, finished, and you just say, man, that really looks good. You know, what, what is it, that sense of, you know, once you start cutting grass, you just can't quit and leave it this half undone. You get to finish the job you, you in get, one day. You get to finish the job. But what a sense of pride when you look back when it's all manicured and everything's pretty. It, it just gives you that self-worth about, hey, I did this. But the, but the units are spectacular. And that's well, I, I had two units, and I gave Hank Jr. one, and he had a different brand. It was green, and I won't call what brand it was, but it was a green unit, and it had similar horsepower to the x -Mark. And he asked me, he said, Dad, what, what can be the difference? And he called me, he mowed his grass, and there, he has about nine acres, and there's a horse pasture next to him, and that grass always gets higher than the rest of his yard. Right. So when he gets there, you know, on that green lawnmower, right. he had to go really, really, really slow. And with his X mark, he just blows through it. And he right. called me, he said, Dad, I can't believe it. I don't know what they did to the gearing, because the, the horsepower is virtually the same, but it's a whole different yeah. mower. He said, it yeah. is unbelievable. So he is a big X mark ally.